What's going on YouTube? Kilta Goldsmith here with a video talking about Royal Tiger Import C grade Lee Enfields. So I love doing projects, tinkering around with stuff, and I eyed Royal Tiger Imports uh, C grade Lee Enfield number one Mark threes for a little while now. I was kind of skeptical about buying one, and obviously C grade pretty beat up. Just to give you an overview of what this is, I have not done any work to it at all yet. The only thing I've done to it is put a little bit of oil on it to free up uh, the bolt and stuff. So, <clears throat> starting from the right side and the buttstock to the front, the stock is loose. Not a big deal. Stock bolts can be tightened up. The bolt was actually fully intact. Extractor is there, extractor spring. It's a little rusted inside of it. A lot, well, little is an understatement, but it was rusted up, so put some oil in it and even though this thing is old untaken care of need lots of TLC the bolt's still surprisingly smooth once I put some oil in it and it dry fires so it's still pretty functional I wouldn't dare put any rounds through this just yet until I've stripped it inspected it fully and cleaned it out and if you ever do get a project gun like this don't shoot it until you've either gone through the proper inspection process and make sure there's no cracks in the barrel or receiver or anything that could compromise your safety or uh, the gun and whatnot. Um, the C-grades do not come with magazines and they tell you in the description what could be missing. Um, it could be a multitude combination and it varies per gun. Um, common thing is cracks, stocks, handguards, missing pieces of the handguard like you can see right here. Um, this is just the uh, clasp uh retainer for the bottom of the rear handguard uh that's completely missing i already did order another one rear sights pretty fucking rusty but i mean it's expected it's a project gun this isn't something meant to go straight to the range and shoot the upper handguard pretty fucking cracked um once i strip it apart look at it see if it's something i could uh repair or just order another most likely i'll order another one there's great thing about these Lee Enfields is there's parts available everywhere. So continuing down the right side, sorry, right side, backwards in camera. So barrel bands, everything's pretty damn rusted. They've been sitting in storage for a very long time. Nose cap screw that holds this in place is missing. It's a little loose, expected. Um, don't worry, it's empty. I haven't put any rounds through it. Uh, show you the left side now. The butt plate is in decent shape, dings of course, which is expected, but brass doesn't rust like regular steel and iron, so pretty easy to clean up, just get some brass polish. Crack near the toe of the stock, uh, pretty dirty stock crack there on the left side, but it doesn't go all the way through the gun, which is good, so I can splice it, glue it, whatever I gotta do. I uh, haven't messed with the safety much, but it is free, and it does work, so that's nice. Stripper clip guide in the top here, pretty solid, no cracks on the receiver. And that's what my biggest concern with this was receiving a cracked receiver or where the tracks for the bolt were dinged or gouged, because it's kind of hard to repair that. I mean, if you're a very good welder, and I only know one, my old man, um, could potentially repair it and then fill it up with weld and then blemish it down, sand it down, file it down, whatever. Um, but that was my biggest concern. I can rebarrel it. I actually did get an action wrench to uh, rebarrel it. And there's a lot of cool markings on the receiver. And that was the one thing I did do is I put oil on it and brushed it down just so you can kind of see it a little bit. It is hard to see because it's you know pretty rusted and dirty still. But I will do this in three parts as a project. Somewhere around halfway point of doing work on it, refinishing and whatnot, I'll uh, do like a mid-progress uh, video. And then a final result once I feel satisfied and finished with it. But the uh, left side of it, it's in better shape than the right side for the most part. And I took, for shits and giggles, I took a magnetic bore sight, stuck it on the end of the muzzle. And even though the rear sight is just slightly canted up from the right to the left, um, it's still dead nuts on, which I was surprised. I took a bore camera down the barrel, and obviously very rusted inside. Um, 
but it doesn't look cooked to the point where it's massive pitting and gouges. The barrel's pretty smooth down the barrel, but rusted, of course. So this gun definitely needs a lot of thorough cleaning. Um, I'm going to sandblast it. I don't know if I want to re-blue it, uh, black oxide it, or maybe even possibly... Uh, uh, maybe go out on a limb and Cerakote it. Um, probably not. Maybe parkerize it. Um, I've seen some people parkerize Leon fields. They kind of look weird, but cool at the same time. But most likely I'll black oxide it because black oxide comes out really nice and clean. And I'm not trying to do a full resto in the point of making it look 100% original. I'll do a little bit of modifications like do black oxide instead of the bluing. Um, but other than that, I might refinish the stock and do like a lighter color. Um, maybe like a, a teak or a golden oak or something like that. Because I like the lighter color woods personally. But uh, overall, it seems like if I wanted to and could take a round and shoot it. But I'm not doing that until I have stripped it and done a proper inspection. Which I recommend you do the same. Don't put any rounds in these guns until you've either had a gunsmith look it over. Or if you're uh, comfortable and confident enough to do it, by all means do it. Um, just put safety first. Um, headspace could be off if the barrel's cooked through a lot. Um, or the bolt head itself, this part here, is completely uh, fucked. Pardon my language. But uh, some people are probably thinking, why the fuck would you buy that? I like challenges. I like projects i like doing this stuff some people watching this you might be in agreement. you might think i'm a nut job i don't care i do what i like to do so without further ado one last overlook um again i'll try to put a link in the description royal tiger imports i know some people have had a bad rap with them this is my first purchase from royal tiger imports i didn't want to buy anything expensive off of a whim without ever buying anything from them before um, for what this is, and I got it as a project gun, I'm actually happy with it. It's got a lot of potential. And again, I'll make a part two for a, somewhere around the middle point of this project. And then a final project video where I shoot it. Now I will test fire it prior to the final video because I don't want to, you know, any malfunctions on the last video and waste your time. So hopefully, let's see if I can get the iron sights in my wife would be pissed at me if I break shit but you can kind of see the iron sights a little bit from down here and they were surprisingly on point so pretty happy with this overall I'm looking to get some supplies right now in to do this project and if you have any questions comments or anything um, let me know if anything I might do a full teardown video I might make this a series I don't know um, if anyone's interested in seeing this as a full teardown inspection video, please let me know. It's going to be a little bit before I can actually tear this down and get it into it. But if you're interested, let me know and I can make it a little series. So thank you for watching. Um, one last thing. I know a lot of people that have bought from Royal Tiger Imports before. They've gotten a bad taste from the customer service or... Um, they tend to overgrade their guns. So say if they are marketing it as a B grade, it's more like a C grade. And a C grade is more like a fucking parts gun, basically. And that's pretty much what a C grade is. Um, project gun, parts guns, gunsmith specials, essentially. Um, and then even getting like hand select, uh, bore select, overall condition select. Because they usually do two or three grades on the rifles when they get a large amount of them in. Um they overgrade them and instead of saying it's in excellent condition it's like a b grade or it's missing parts or something now some people have had great customer service where they send parts no problem some people basically ghosted or ignored so you're basically getting a crap shoot with this company from what i've heard and seen um i'm actually happy with this and i actually just ordered one of the zostava arms yugo eight millimeter mauser the m48s um, the fair to good condition, so it'll be another project video. Um, 
and I did change my name from 1947 because I was a big fan of AKs and stuff, but I've always been a diehard Milserp fan. So I changed it in 1944 for the year U.S. went into World War II in Europe. I know U.S. went into World War II back in 41, but in the European theater. And I just love Mel Serps, so I thought it was appropriate. But uh, try to get some more content out there. Uh, if you enjoyed this video um, or have any questions about it, please let me know. And see you guys and gals next time.